today is the best day. guys welcome back to my another video another blog and today is a big day today is the day of my citizenship interview i'm a little nervous plus i feel like i'm having a butterfly in my stomach but i'm also ready and uh, plus the day is very beautiful because the weather is really nice today it's little raining and um, little foldy but uh, it's feel like really good so so let's see what's gonna happen we are almost ready about to leave and um, i'll keep you guys updated hi guys i'm here at the parking lot now and um, my interview uh, schedule is 11 45 and it's 11 a.m now but it's not allowed to go inside to the building too early because only limited people can go inside and that's why I'm waiting in the car so I'll so just I'll review just my book a little bit and then keep you guys updated I'm here at the waiting line and finally it's time to go inside the building and wish me good luck for my interview I finally passed my interview and now I am an American citizen. Uh, now I will be sharing my experience during my interview. My interview was very easy uh, the way I was expecting. That was totally different because I was so nervous but that was very much easy. The lady who interviewed me, she was also very nice. Uh, when when I go inside the building, I waited in the waiting area for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then the officer call, came and called my name. And then I followed her to the office. Uh, when I go inside, uh, she asked me for my uh, green card, my state ID, my appointment letter. And I gave it to her and then she started asking me the question which I filed in my application. My full name, my date of birth, uh, my address, my proof of uh, residence, my spouse uh, status and uh, when did I became a lawful permanent resident. She also asked me my trips in the last four to five year uh, how long I spent outside in the United States. So you know all are these basics questions which you fill out in your N-400 so you just make sure to review and remember it before the interview because all of these information they have already in their system but they just want to make sure that if I'm telling the truth after that we moved to the civic test and uh, in the civic test you have to ask uh, uh, 10 questions but if you answer the first six then she will stop in there. So this was uh, she asked me the first six and then I corrected it then she moved to the reading and writing. And so these are the questions she asked me what is the economic system in the United States and if the president can no longer serve then who become a president name one war fought by the united states in the 1900 and who was the president during the world war ii name one state that bordered canada and name one part or branch of the government so these are the six questions she asked me which i knew all these answer she asked me a one question for the reading and writing. Uh, that question was uh, how many states are there in the United States? So there are 50 states in the United States. So that's it for the all the test portion. And after that, uh, she asked me to sign some paper. And there was all the interview portion. Uh, 
uh, after that she said that uh, congratulations you passed an interview my oral experience for the interview that uh, it is very easy and um, if you know the basic question about the constitution the history of the united states and the english then you are good to go you can do it so that's it and if you have any question you can comment below i will try to help you out as much i can one more thing i'll be share here that uh, i filed my n400 application in january 2020 and did my fingerprint in the same month but then i waited for the interview uh, my interview came, letter came last month january 2021 so it took around 12 months whole one year so the reason i'm sharing that if you file your application you have to just wait and keep checking on your status they will send you a notice once your time came thank you for watching bye bye